Hi guys, welcome to today's video. I have been wanting to do a new series on my channel for months now and I haven't really been able to figure out how to bring it to YouTube, um, the format, what am I gonna call it? But I just kind of had an idea that I wanted it to revolve around mental health, all the things that we are dealing with, the things that are going on in my head. I've been doing a lot of Q and A's on my Instagram story and they have just been my absolute favorite. I enjoy them so much. I feel like I get to open up and share with you guys my struggles with anxiety, eating disorders, which was a part of my past. Um, starting therapy and relationships and friendships and all of those things. I had someone ask me, would you be open to starting a mental health series on YouTube? Like for example, we tell you topics to discuss, etc. And I loved that idea. I said, send them in now. There's no better time. And I got many, 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 many topics of discussion. A lot of them are tied to mental health, to exercise, food guilt, anxiety, body dysmorphia, healthy lifestyles, how to tie it all together. And um, I am no professional. So, you know, everything that I talk about is going to be just my personal experience. But I find that just talking about things that are uncomfortable and hearing other people talk about them can make a world of a difference, especially if you're going through something and you can relate to someone. I think that's huge. That's all that I want to do with this series. Um, and I figured the best time for me to do that would be like in the morning when I have my coffee. That's usually when I feel the most open and like just, I just, I want to talk. But that's what we're going to do today. And I was going through all the questions and I found a really good one that I want to start off with. But again, there's really no structure to this. So if I cover this topic and I want to continue going, love to hear you guys' feedback. I want to have like a discussion in the comments. Um, about what your thoughts and experiences are. I want to know what you guys are going through. I want to know how you're dealing with the state of the world right now. Two completely different people, me before COVID-19 and now me after COVID-19. I know it sounds very dramatic and when I say it out loud, I'm like, really? But I do feel that way. I feel like my opinions have changed. I've started therapy. Um, I have been like digging deep into my past and traumas. That has obviously helped me be a lot more open on social media and also just like feel so much more creative. I love the YouTube videos that I'm posting now. I'm like learning more ways to edit. I feel like I'm kind of figuring out my style of things and and that's the good thing that's come out of COVID-19. I feel like I'm, you know, stripping away layers that I've had on for a long time. But anyway, now I'm totally babbling. So that's the thing. These videos are going to be basically just a babble of me talking. But um, I hope that you guys enjoy them. And the first topic, I thought this one was really great. How to use exercise to help with mental health without becoming obsessed and harming mental health. I thought this would be a great start because a huge focus on my channel is health, obviously. Um, and I've definitely been on the other side of this where fitness completely took over my life and that is everything that mattered to me. It dictated my routine, my outlook on my body, the relationships that I had in my life and all of that. I don't know if I'm going to have you know, the exact answer to this question on how to develop this, but I think I can give you guys some tips, um, things that have helped me Take a step back. And I think it all starts off with your goals, honestly. If you're starting off your fitness journey from an already very negative perspective <clears throat> on yourself, what I mean by that is you look in the mirror and you hate what you see. And that is a very, very, unfortunately, a very good motivator because it's strong and you can only look at yourself so much before you're like, man, I'm, I'm gonna do whatever it takes, whatever it takes, I wanna change. And I get that because I've been there. <laughs> I started getting into fitness in high school. It was senior year and I just knew that I would be so uncomfortable at prom that I was willing to do anything. I was doing a grapefruit diet where I ate half of a grapefruit and like three eggs a day. That's obviously not where you want to start and it's really easy for me to sit here and be like, start with self-love because I remember hearing the same thing and being like, well, I still don't like what I look like. However, I do think that the way that you can kind of combat all of this a little bit, or at least try to put yourself in a better starting point, if you have a physical appearance goal that you want to reach, combining that with an internal one, with just wanting to improve your health, your well-being, your digestion, your mood, your anxiety, and all of that, and making that as equivalent and having as much worth as 
like your body image goal um, is a good starting point. If you are right now in a position where you're like, all I really care about is just looking better, try to also think of the way that fitness will improve so many other things in your life. And on top of that, I think that the way that you track your progress should be more focused on that side of fitness. How's your mental health after you go for a run? Because usually you are filled with endorphins, which is great. That is how I feel after hiking. That is actually the biggest reason why I've been hiking so much because I've realized that there's a sense of calmness that I always feel after a good hike and that usually translates into motivation in other ways. I feel creative, I feel um, inspired, I feel more like myself. And the question was how do you use exercise to help with mental health um, without getting obsessed about it. And I think that if you focus on the way that exercise makes you feel, then you'll always have an easy way to just check yourself with it. Like, hey, am I actually feeling better after this or am I feeling worse? Do I need a rest day? Do I feel more anxious about what I look like? If there's a few days in a row that you're not feeling better, then that means that you need to take a step back. Maybe you need to find a different form of exercise that makes you feel good. A lot of the times I think people choose forms of exercise because they think that that's what's going to give them that desired body because that is what they see social media influencers doing and if they want to look like that person then they think that they have to work out like that person but that's so not the case um, you just have to find what works for you and what works with your mental health and also just don't neglect rest rest is so important you guys I've touched on this a little bit but I have taken a huge step back from how much I was doing I take so much more rest and I have seen huge changes in my body. For years and years and years, I did not believe it. I always thought that if I take more rest, then my body is just going to freak out on me because I'm so used to exercising a lot, but it did the complete opposite. And I think the next video, I just don't want this one to be too long, but my next one, um, I actually have it written down already. So I really wanna talk about how I recently lost weight, body confidence, and food struggles. I think that all of those tied together because I've been getting a lot of questions lately about um, me losing weight, me losing muscle, am I happy about it? Do I like how I look? Um, how did it happen? We're gonna talk about all these things. I wanna do more videos like this. I wanna do more frequent uploads now that I have the time, now that I'm home. Thank you guys so much for being here. Again, I am no professional, so uh, this is just all my personal experience, but hopefully you guys will find it helpful and leave topics below, leave discussions below. I will be joining in on all of those. Thank you guys for watching. Thumbs up if you enjoyed it and I'll see you all in the next one.